Hi guys, today's article, GM plans all electric Buick lineup in US by 2030. Okay, so Buick is the latest premium car brand to say it will eliminate internal combustion engine. So General Motors plans to convert Buick vehicle lineup to all electric in North America by the end of the decade, targeting a fresh start for the 119 year old brand. Dude, did you guys know Buick is 119 year old? GM said Wednesday that the planned introduction of a new electric sports utility vehicle in 2024 would mark the beginning of Buick conversion to an all EV portfolio. The company declined to offer detail of that model, which would be Buick's first fully electric vehicle sold in the US. To make the switch, GM is resurrecting a name from Buick's past, the Electra. Oh, that's a cute name. Which was a large sedan sold for several decades before the name was phrased out around 1990. All future Buick EVs will carry the Electra name along with an alphanumeric identifier that varies by model. So GM's going all EV with at least their first Buick mm, cars. Their biggest competitor would actually be Lincoln from Ford. So it must be a high-end car brand for GM. GM's high-end car brand. And now it will be called the Electra, which was a sedan. The plan and part of GM's broader strategy to offer electrics across nearly all of its global vehicle portfolio by 20, or 2035. The automaker already has outlined plans for the luxury Cadillac brand to sell only electric models by the end of this decade. Other upscale car brands also have declared their intentions to fully phase out internal combustion cars by the end of decade, including Mercedes-Benz. Ah, uh, other other car brands also wants to phase out internal combustion vehicle. Automakers are working to meet stricter tailpipe emission standards while also responding to the rise of EV leader Tesla, who mark share has eclipsed Eclipse that of some luxury brand in major markets. Still, that all-in strategy will depend on consumer reception to a slew. It's also known to be owned by super old people. Oh. Still, the all-in strategy will depend on consumer reception to a slew of new electrics they slated to hit the market in coming years, as well as the availability of key battery ingredients, including lithium. Some analysts and executives have warned that there won't be enough batteries to support the audio auto industry aggressive electric vehicle sales target. Many plant workers for, for GM are given steep discount for Buick. Oh, really? Mm, that's actually very nice. So their electric car vehicle would be made of lithium ion batteries which we learned earlier so that would be interesting kind of questioning if, if they're ever going to transition to solid state battery right move on <laughs> for buick the ev strategy aligned with the brand strategy in oh sorry brand strength in china where it is among the top selling car brands sales of fully electric cars and plug-in hybrid model in china accounted for more than quarter of total vehicle sales in April compared to 5.8% in the US. We sell several electric models in China. Why would China ever buy a Buick car? So they have they are hoping to go to all electric eventually in China but declined to provide a target data. North America Buick has long been positioned as a premium name generally priced above GM mainstream Chevrolet brand and below Cadillac. While Buick's US market share has been stable around 1.2% for the past several years, it has lost nearly half of its market share since 2001. Wow, really? Yeah, I don't see much people driving a Buick. Like what you guys mentioned, it must have been more of the elder community than most of the younger generation. 
Along with the move to EV, GM is planning other tactics to reposition Buick, including its first new logo since 1990. Oh, really? And a new market approach! Wednesday, Buick released images of an EV prototype that the company said it repre is representative of the new look of Buick's forthcoming electric model. The model... Da -da 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 -da. Oh. I so people in Japan were also interested in Buick and everything? Buick is usually double the price of what you'd pay in the States. Of other countries. So Buick is actually a high-end brand. That we just... I just didn't know about then. What's so good about GM, guys? That people are willing to pay so much for buying a Buick car. Isn't it better to spend that much money on a European car than an American brand? Or is it just kind of like the luxury that if you own a Buick, it kind of means your wealth. The wealth of my status saying, hey, I have a Buick car, I'm rich. Some people in the States only buy American. Oh, then why would China want would be interested in buying Buick? Is the Buick car good in general? Just because it's expensive? I guess it's not bad. This car isn't that bad, but I guess just because of the brand quality and everything. Is that kind of what I feel about when people buy expensive bags? You don't really know why they would want to buy it, but just because of the brand name that people want to have it so that they can brag about it. Is that the same case as GM too? I wonder how Buick got the identification of luxury car brand. The brand is famous because of golf tournaments sponsored by GM. Oh, really? And golf is high end. So that's why people wanted to get it. So reading through the article, I'm quite interested that Buick is a high end. It's great that they want to go to all electric lineup. But is it really worth it? Like, is the technology worth it for it to change? And are people going to purchase a electric Buick car? So it's just kind of how Ford is getting the electric truck. So GM, because a lot, probably of all their brands, Buick is sold the most. They are interested in making buick an electric car so that they have other competitors for tesla and that people have now more choices so that tesla can't be a monopoly in electric car vehicles that makes sense gm even changed their logo to a plug a while ago oh really <laughs> so my question if every car ends up going electric is that good or bad i mean it's good for the environment i guess but doesn't electric vehicles also have like something bad for the environment i thought batteries were not recyclable so <laughs> still bad for the environment pollution from power plants uh. imagine everyone waiting to ch charge their cars <gasps> Don't think they will. A country like the US is so large that they're always going to be a demand for combustion vehicle. But it's probably not going to be something that people normally drive though. They need to find better ways to make batteries and stop making electricity from coal. And so maybe GM is a bit ahead of time. And that there's other things to work on instead of getting electric cars out there. So guys, actually in reality... Government should stop pushing electric car vehicles and that they should go back a step and look into how to make batteries or how to recycle batteries or replace coal fire power plants with nuclear. So they should be funding research instead. <gasps> so maybe GM is way too ahead of time it could lead to gm actually failing if they don't get a good technology by 2030 i'm guessing they're thinking that 2030 could be can they could get a good you know battery lithium ion battery situation or everything by 2030 
just like ESG for investing, all the woke environmentalism is gonna be the bane, bane, bane of all economic growth in the near future. Oh. Study was released showed battery production and destruction produces as much pollution. <gasps> really? Don't forget about wind and solar. What about wind and solar? It took companies over a century to refine gas energy and engines to what it is today. Oh, the government discredits how much R&D goes into gas engines too much. Oh, I don't know about GM and Hyundai, but Tesla batteries need lithium that is transported and ships move on combustion engines. Combustion engine is also gas, no? All African lithium is mined by slaves. Oh, what? GM! Aren't you a little ahead of time? I think for everyday use, electric cars are going to be norm for large urban areas. But I think plenty of people are going to dislike the reliance of charge. I think we're ready to conclude, guys. So, GM, aren't you a little bit ahead of schedule and that... Hey, government, I don't think you should try to get cars out there right now. There's other important things you have to worry about instead of getting electric cars out there. And for normal investors or, you know, users, don't only invest in electric cars. There's other important things you need to invest in, guys. Oh my god, like I invested in an electric car because that's the next generation like hot stuff. No, <laughs> there's other things. So GM gets to figure out by 2030 if they're going to change to all electric Buick cars that they're going to deal with all the environmental issues that technically electric cars are supposed to solve yeah i really wish they do a good job but for them to try to appeal among 20 and 30 year old good luck with that i mean i think people like sportier look and tesla i think there are other good options out there for now so good luck <laughs> but that's all about gm guys if you guys have any questions feel free to shout it out